the southern sessions on jurisprudence. I am Sham Mantina. This session is about functions and purpose of law. So let us look into it. Now, when you try to check on what is the exact function and purpose of law, the purpose of law is always to ensure that there are different types of rules, let it be in any form, uh, multiple forms of rules exist. So all these rules and principles work towards for the purpose of regulating human conduct and behavior in the society or on the land they are living. So these set of different rules are, are the different framework under which the judicial system has been framed. It is always aligned with a specific structure from the point of view of different key people within the society. The different key, key aspects or key people are, uh, it can be judges or it can be a legislature point of view or it can be from a society point of view. So the simplest way to remember the function and purpose of law is uh, with a, a simple mnemonic. Um, I'm not saying these statements are right, but for the purpose of remembering things, uh, we can always uh, make some good number of uh, tricky, funny statements. So one such statement could be, law is judges, legislature, society. Remember this sentence, law is judges, legislature, society. That defines the exact point of view of all the point of views of key people in a judicial perspective. So now I'll tell you the first thing is about judges. So in the, from judges point of view, when you say judges point of view, the law for them, it is a rule of court or it can be a judgment. It can be orders of court or it can be decrees uh, as well as injunctions. So the typical judiciary words, so that's what they define law for a judge's point of view. So uh, it might sound a bit difficult to remember all these words. Again, for this, there's one more uh, mnemonic, uh, a simple pretty mnemonic. Uh, judge's law is court rules, Jodi. When I say Jodi, the spelling is J-O-D-I. So court rules, Jodi is court. First one is court and next is rules. J for judgments and O for orders, T for decree, I for injunctions. So uh, court rules, Jodi is always for judges. So judges match with the court rules. So court rules, Jodi. When you say court rules, Jodi, court or court rules or rules of the court or the next is judgments and the next is orders of the court, decrees and injunctions. These three things are the functions of law for a judge or from a judge point of view. Now let us look into the legislature point of view. From a legislature point of view, when they say law, for them, it is about the rules, statutes, acts, regulations, orders, and ordinances. And this is the typical words a legislature will always move around with. Now, to remember again all this different, all these different words, so we have got one more mnemonic. Uh, let's simply say, for law for legislature is rules, saru. So the Saru is a typical uh, Telugu word, which probably anybody can remember. Uh, so the spelling goes S A R O O. So rules Saru. So rules is the very first one for them, and then for Saru it is S for statutes, A for acts, R for regulations, O for orders, and O for ordinances. So for a legislature point of view or legislature structure, the definition of law is around these, these uh, specific areas. So uh, 
the next one is uh, we very well know that it is my society point of view remember for a society law is always about keeping them in the right direction in their day to day life so uh, a common man probably a common man always look for uh, the more more ro- morality in the society so that's where it moves around so from a common man or a society point of view the law or purpose of law is uh, for everything that is happening around there should be a reason and uh, it must happen in a particular order uh, with enough justice and more importantly there should be a morality around it so so for a common man it should be just about uh everyday morality we no translate it into uh, uh, everyday uh, it's called roju morality roju is a typical uh, a telugu word again so roju morality morality is uh, having that particular aspect uh, of being uh, moral in all that things that they are doing every day so r o j u is the word so r for reason o for order j for justice uh, i use the other word j u uh, so together j u stands for justice and morality is what they expect so from a society point of view it is just morality what they expect on every day therefore it is a roju morality stands for reason order justice and morality so to summarize uh, the entire uh, function and purpose of law uh function and purpose of law moves around with judges and legislature and legislature of the society let me repeat uh, to remember the entire uh, concept uh, law is judges legislature society that's the law uh, and this primarily regulates the human conduct and behavior the way people behave around uh, deal with each other Uh, it regulates that particular aspect uh, and uh, this is there are to, in order to do this there are multiple rules and principles set around uh, but all these things has been seen from different power points of the society uh, in a in their own particular terminology so this particular power points are judges legislature and society so from a judges point of view we'll remember this with a mnemonic or uh, court rules jodi so uh, which is expands into rules of the courts and uh, judgments orders decrees and injunctions similarly when you go for legislatures it is rules saru is the mnemonic which means the rules statutes acts regulations orders and ordinances and the final one is from the point of view of society which is which looks for morality on day to day life therefore it is roju morality which stands for reason order justice and morality so it's an absolutely simple question to attend and to write it in more detailed way i hope you enjoyed this answer as well thank you and don't forget to subscribe all the best